Well, what's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Millionaire E, coming at you with a TV show episode review. Now, the TV show we're going to be talking about is The Flash, episode four, season eight. Now, this is the crossover episode, so there's one more episode after this. Now, before we get started, spoiler alert, for anyone who's not seen the episode yet, I don't want to spoil it for you. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to kind of tell you some of the things that I kind of felt were kind of, eh, about the, that I felt were annoying to me about the episode. I'm not going to kind of, I may spoil a little bit of it, but I'm not going to, you know, go through a whole rundown of it. So the first thing we're going to have is Flash ends up in 231. Ibrathon explains to him that he basically switched places with the Flash and also killed the Flash as a child. Therefore, Flash is will start to, you know, fade out of existence by midnight. First of all, I don't even know. That's the first problem. First of all, I don't even know how, you know, the timing works. It's like, by midnight, you will phase out of existence. I'm like, wouldn't he just phase out of existence anytime or anything? Because there were certain parts of the episode where Flash is, he's trying to reach something and his arm's like phasing out or stuff. So there's that. <clears throat> now, the other thing is, is as I said, you know, how Reverse Flash basically switched places with the Flash. Everything that... the Flash had, like, you know, Star Labs, you know, Cecile, he didn't have Cecile, but you know how he knew Cecile, Chester, everybody, the reverse Flash has now. So basically, the reverse Flash is Flash now. So everybody thinks Barry killed Cisco, killed Joe. They're all mad at Flash or Barry Allen. And I'm not making, I'm not going to make it confusing. It's going to be Barry Allen is the reverse Flash. The reverse Eberthon is Flash. So, they're all trying to attack the Flash. And Flash comes up with a way to reset the timeline by running around the equator super fast. Now, the only thing is, is that will create Armageddon. That's what Despero was trying to prevent. So, you know, he does this to save the timeline. And he reverses the timeline, of course. Everything's back to normal. But the problem is, is the way that it happened. There were some things that I kind of felt like, why was this a thing? Like the first thing was, is the love with Iris. So if some, if some of y'all know, Barry kind of gets his speed or how he gets like faster is from his love for Iris. And we've seen that in like upper, other episodes, how he gets, he feels his love and overjoy for Iris and basically wants to save her, he gets faster. Now, the thing about it is, is this Iris only loved Eber Thawne. Barry said something to this Iris that he said to the past Iris. He was like, you are my lightning rod. Which kind of basically put her in a mindset of, who is this man I'm marrying? Eber Thawne or am I, is the Barry, does he know me? So it ends up where we get to this one point this climactic point where Iris is sitting here. This is future Iris. She's sitting here with a paralyzing gun. And Barry's trying to explain his case to Iris. She has his gun out like this. Excuse me. And Eber Thawne comes up. He's like, no, he's trying to trick us. He's lying. He's lying. Don't do it. Shoot it with the paralyzing gun. And then it ends up where Iris shoots Eber Thawne with the paralyzing gun. And I'm just sitting here like, my problem is, is as I said, Ebert Thawne changed the place. He changed places with Flash. He's been with Iris however long. Why is she changing like this for Barry? And I'm like, she shouldn't even know who Barry is, first of all, because, you know, I'm trying to base it off of other time kind of things. But usually when you are trying to phase out of existence, people will kind of not know who you are, first of all. So then there's the thing of, this love quarrel between Chester and Allegra. How I felt was literally not, it had nothing to do with the plot. Because it was like, Chester was apparently, you know, they had dated some type of time, they broke up, and it was just awkward between them. And we come to find out that, basically, Chester was trying to fall in love with Allegra. He was trying to tell her he loved her, but Allegra was like, I don't like getting in that place because my, apparently it was family hurt. And she was like, how do I know that Chester's going to be there forever? So she ended up ghosting him. 
And I'm like, that's a nice story and all, but I'm like, it had nothing to do with the plot because this was happening in the future. If this happened in the past, it would have been fine because it would be like Allegra and Chester through the whole future. But this was in the future, so I'm like, nothing changed. So I was just like, this episode had me confused. And I was just like, why is this here? And I'm like, I hope that episode five does not do that. Because episode five does show, you know, Flash coming in. And then it also shows the Arrow's daughter. Which also brings up a problem for me is this, this is the same thing. This is just like, it's not a crossover. It's just Flash show basically with guest stars. Because we see, we literally see these superheroes like Batgirl, Alex from Supergirl, this other guy, Ray, who is apparently another Aut Captain Autumn, Adam. And then they're, they're gone within the next episode. So that's why I'm kind of confused. So... That's how I kind of was feeling with this episode, but remember y'all, well tell me in the comments what y'all feel about Flash this episode. And remember y'all, like the video, share it with your fam, and if you're subscribed, click that bell icon to be notified for more videos, and I'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. And have a blessed day and a Merry Christmas, and I'll see y'all later, y'all. Bye, y'all.